Marinette is ideally set up for dealing with quick inquiries and you don't have to go further than this opening page. Take a look at this quick search box here. Note that there are two options, compounds and articles. You can do a quick search on words associated with articles and this accesses items such as title, journal name, DOI, trivial name or category, while in the compound section uh, you can search on molecular weight, molecular formula or compound name. But please note that in this approach to searching only exact matches are returned. All right, let's, let's start searching on a word now, just a single word. And I'm going to put in the word discarabdin and do a search. Now the discarabdins are a group of very cytotoxic compounds. There are in fact 84 articles have been published on the discarabdins and go straight to the displaying the compounds. We find that there are 38 discarabdins have been isolated over the years. Now sometimes it's good to know all you can about a given author who might be interested in the line of research that he's carrying out in his country. So I'm going to enter in a name here. So I'm going to put in Quinn. Professor Ron Quinn is an Australian marine natural products chemist and Professor Quinn has published 86 papers in the marine natural products area and again you can click and have a look at all the compounds that he in fact has uh, isolated over the years. There are 157 compounds. Let's look now at what works under the compound section of quick search. Let's assume that you have obtained the low resolution mass spectrum of a compound and that you found M plus was 317. So this is a compound that contains an odd number of nitrogens. Now if you were to enter in 317 into the database you will get zero results. What you need to do is put in a mass range or an exact mass. So what I'm going to do is enter in 316.8 uh, this accommodates any mass deficient elements in, the, in potential molecular formulas and search out to um, 317.3. Let's do the search. Now this returns 23 uh, structures and you can look at them in this format or you can look at them in this format. In the compound section, if you ex enter an exact mass, then the database will yield all structures of that mass. Now what I'm going to do is enter in a mass of uh, 456. 2664 and do a search and it will find two compounds. So again you can see the structures or you can find the display the articles uh, that these compounds came from. The other nice thing about quick search is that you can search on molecular formulae but to do a search on molecular formulae you've got to enclose your formula in square brackets. So let's put in C27H40O4 as a square bracket and do the search. And this again will pull in all compounds which have got that particular molecular formula. So again you have the option of displaying the compounds or looking at the articles. Now an interesting alternative to this is to search on a partial structure. For instance take the situation where you've, you've done a mass spectrum and you can identify a Br2Cl2 cluster which is very very characteristic but you're unsure of molecular ion. You're not sure if you're seeing it or not. So you can do a search on the Br2Cl2 cluster and again you can look at the range of compounds that you get. They're all in the range of about 300 or thereabouts and they belong to the, mainly the terpenoid class of compounds. Well this pretty much covers the scope and complexity of using the quick search. In the next tutorial we will have a more detailed look at what the possibilities are for searching using the bibliographic search.